going to show you how to divide three digit numbers by one digit. Grouping. Children can continue to use grouping to support their understanding of short division when dividing a three digit number by a one digit number. Place value counters or plain counters can be used on a place value grid to support this understanding and children can, just like me, draw their own counters and group them through a more pictorial method. So the calculation that I'm going to be doing is 856 divided by 4. Okay, so I'm going to draw my place value counters on my place value grid. So I've got my hundreds and I've got my tens and I've got my ones. Ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, so Thinking about the fact that I am dividing by four, okay, when I when I draw my place value counters, I kind of want to put them into fours straight away. So my 800 one, two, three, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. Okay, and then I want my tens. So you can see there I've got fours there, fours there, okay. All right, and then um, my six ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Okay, because then if need be, we can exchange um, because we want to make sure we are um, doing our groups equally. Okay, so I've got my hundreds here, so I want to see my groups of four. So there's one group and there's another group. So how many groups have I got all together there? Okay, so I've got one group of four, two groups of four, so two. Okay. And then here, if I look at my tens, how many groups of four? So one, two, three, four. That's fine, that's one group of four, but I've got this 10. What am I gonna do with that? I need to exchange it, so I'm gonna swap it. So instead of being one, 10, I'm gonna make it 10 ones, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 okay so that has come over here all right which is why we have to start with the largest column that we've got and then if we need to exchange then we can okay right now i need to see how many groups that i can make here so again we're looking for groups of four one two three four how many groups have i got one two three four four groups okay so 856 Divided by four, split into four groups, okay, gives me the answer, 214. Okay, now, when the children are ready, they can then use a more formal method. So if I look down here at my form, more formal method, I've got my 856, and I'm going to divide that by four. The children call this bus stop method, okay, but it's our formal method short division okay and we'll start with the largest column okay so how many fours in 800 how many fours in eight i know it's the 100 columns okay so how many fours in eight two how many fours in five okay and i know it's tens my tens column so i've got five how many groups of four can i make one group of four and I've got one left over, so I need to exchange that, okay? So it is like bringing that 10 over into the ones, bringing that 10 into the ones, bringing that leftover 10 into the ones, okay? And then how many fours in 16 ones, okay? I know it's the ones column, how many fours in 16? Four, eight, 12, 16, okay? That would be four, there you go.